So in this video, I'm showing you how you can uh, go from Prowl to Lighthouse. And so Lighthouse is now the default for uh, chat ops in Jenkins X. But not many people know how to go from one to the other. So I'm in the directory of my dev uh, or config repo. And I executed the command JX boot only after I changed this from Prowl to Lighthouse. So let's see what happens. I have CJXD10, which I just upgraded as well. I went from eight to 10. So a lot of change happening in this configuration. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'll keep the, uh, the command here, the window visible so you can see. So a little bit of insight as to what's happening right now. Um, the, a pull request eventually will be triggered against the configuration repository, which exists in my GitHub organization. But right now it's executing, and you can see a step here. Uh, where is that coming from? Well, the root of that directory has a Jenkins X file, a pipeline file, and that's exactly what's being executed right now. So you can probably tweak this a bit in some scenarios. I have not had the need for it, right? But just know that that's happening in the background. And so we're in step install Nginx controller. So let's take a look at where that is. If I just search the, uh, the code here, there it is. So it's gonna do all this and let's see um, there are several other steps that are going to get executed. Did you know that you can actually start, uh, when you execute JX boot command, you can actually start at a given step. So I'll just open up another terminal here. And if we go JX boot, uh, help. There's some pretty good stuff that sometimes is hidden, and this this might be one of those hidden gems. Uh, this flag right here, if you give it the name of the step, which you already saw how to retrieve that, right, easily. Uh, here's a good example. Uh, if it fails for some reason, you can always start at a given step to avoid repeating this, right? So just a quick tip, that actually has worked really well for me. Uh, and I hope you can use that. Let's see where it's at. All right, so it's still going through the additional steps. Um, we'll wait for that to finish. I think uh, once we see update webhooks or install pipelines, then we know it's almost done. So we'll hold tight.
All right, it looks like something failed. Let's take a look. I'll pause it and then come back. All right, this may be one of those scenarios where, as I was mentioning earlier, uh, things fail for one reason or another. Uh, but how do you get back to it? How do you make sure uh, the configuration ultimately is successful? Well, I don't know. To be honest with you, right now, I am uh, at a loss as to why uh, this has not been able to be accessed. I take it I might have lost connectivity or something. So I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to show you exactly what I meant by saying JX boot step. We're going to start at that step because that is the step that failed. So let's see what happens. All right, this is looking different. It looks like additional steps are being taken. So I'm going to say I probably lost connectivity the last time. Now it's progressing into the next step, as you can see. So that is good news. Let's wait a bit and see where we end up. All right, there's that webhooks update step, and that should be the last one. Uh, and it looks like we were successful. There it is. That's what I wanted to see. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, Prow should be there um, now, right? And one of the ways I like to tell what's in my cluster, you've probably seen some tweets of mine. Uh, the VMware folks. I've created this wonderful UI for Kubernetes so you can get a, a real holistic view of what's in there. Uh, shout out to Brian Lyles and team for making this happen. Um, really appreciate that. And it's pretty amazing actually. So you can see all of the deployments that I have right now in my cluster. Um, what I wanted to show you, however, is here is lighthouse so we have our pods uh, we have our pod template and of course um, the replica set also uh, one of my favorite views is actually the resource view here uh, you can zoom in on it and and really understand the relationship between the different services right so this is really good because 
Lighthouse brings deploys less resources than Prow, right? And so that's one thing to to take into account when you deploy Jenkins X. Um, there's less resources deployed. Now let me just double check here because I thought I see. We should not see or just refresh this page. We should not see Tide. Uh, we should not see. Um, where are the other ones? There's Tide. I'm not sure. Or maybe we still use Tide. I, I'm, frankly, I have not reviewed the code. Uh, Andrew Bayer, one of my colleagues, did all the work. Kudos, Andrew. And so I have to check it out. But in, in either case, I think we still use Tide. Um, there are other services that we don't. We just make sure here. Uh, like Hook, you would not find the hook service and I don't see it right um, in fact if I take a look at my hmm, presentation here I'm working on some dynamic diagrams you probably heard um, working through it but prow the prow uh, deployment would deploy tide crier deck and hook we don't see those but just tied so that's really good, right? Um, and that's how you upgrade your, uh, or change your environment from uh, Prow to using the cool Lighthouse uh, chat ops project that we have. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give a shout out if you have anything you want me to go over in a tutorial. All right, cheers.